Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Guild Wars 1 Let's Play. I know it's been a little while. Um, I was busy Saturday or Sunday and Wednesday, Monday, excuse me, which are my normal recording days. Um, <clears throat> but we're here. We here. We are ready to go. We are currently doing, what's this place called? Uh, Heart of the Shiver Peaks. We still have, there's a lot of uh, undead enemies in this dungeon, so I figured I'd still bring along the old uh, smiting monk that we had in the last episode. Ooh, we just keep getting knocked on stuff. But... Yeah, uh, if you remember this dungeon, we actually did this dungeon kind of already. So we did this dungeon in its story mode form. Um, we are currently doing the dungeon in its, I guess, explorable mode form for lack of a... Comparing it to the Guild Wars 2 terms. But this dungeon is actually interesting in that it's the only dungeon that doesn't have a... Uh, does not have a quest related to it. So that's really interesting. Alright, let's pull up the old map. Let's see how long it takes us to get through this place. I don't think it'll be too bad. It's a little annoying as a melee because he's a uh, Evil corpses have an ability that cancels melee attacks, so they're putting my uh, dagger attacks on cooldown. And it's like a block skill, so I necessarily can't really get around it. It's just a skill that triggers whenever you hit them. But if you remember when we were in here for the story, it's very, very similar. I think we actually go along the same path. Um, that shield bash, that's the ability I'm talking about. That's annoying. I'm going to deal with these hounds. All right, let's keep on going through. I hope everybody is having a very lovely day today. I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> I've been thought, thinking about possibly exploring some, uh, some other games on the channel on the days I don't normally play. Either that or exploring more stuff on the streams. We're definitely going to try to keep the... Tuesday, Thursday streams going on Twitch. Um, I missed a little bit, and we'll probably even be streaming a little bit today. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to play. I've got a couple games that are on, like, my list of stuff I want to play. Um, so we might make our way through some of those, or we might just chill, do something. Um, I've been thinking about Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. I don't know if any of you played or heard of that game, but that game came out recently. Uh, like a couple weeks ago, and people have been really, really enjoying it. It was a very hyped up game. Um, look at all those guys. But I've been thinking about maybe playing that on stream. As I've gotten back into Monster Hunter 2 and I've been on a bit of a Monster Hunter kick, and that game is supposed to be relatively similar. Um,. Kind of a mix between a character-based, almost gotcha game and a, not gotcha, it's not actually a gotcha game, but like a character-based game like Genshin, um, and a, uh, an action RPG like Monster Hunter. So, excited to go, to maybe try that out, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be playing that. Uh, we're also, I also just recently got back into Honkai Star Rail, I've really been enjoying my time with that, um. Trying to make my way through all the events and everything that I missed to catch up. 
uh, trying to get enough uh, gems together for the next character I want, who I have about a patch before she comes out, so. You know. Until then. I've been playing uh, Enshrouded with some friends. We've been having a lot of fun with that. We're basically kind of done, though. Um, where is this guy? There's supposed to be... Oh, he's right there. There he is. Oh, come... Where? There we go. Jesus. Hard to find him. Um, but yeah, this is kind of the, the mechanic of this dungeon, is that this... The, the dwarf Blackbeard, who we've met in some other parts of the game. <coughs> Not Blackbeard, excuse me. <coughs> Black Powder. We've met in other parts of the game is following us around and giving us casts so we can kind of get through the dungeon. Um, but yeah, so we... All right, let's see where this final thing is for this floor. We probably actually gate glitch here if we wanted to. Oh, just killing that opens the door. Okay. I thought maybe we'd have to do something a little bit more complicated than that. Again, I think this is a pretty easy one. Um, there's a door up this way, I believe, and there's... I think you just kill these mobs to get through it. I don't think it's anything complex. Oh, it's not even a door. It's just a, a thing here. This dungeon is actually relatively short. I'm kind of discovering that a lot of the dungeons are a lot shorter than I thought they were. Granted, I am doing most of them in normal mode, but even in hard mode, going pack by pack, this wouldn't be that long. It's mainly just the bosses. I guess part of it's also just, you know, what do you compare it to? Normally these dungeons take a couple minutes to speed clear, so I was kind of expecting them to take, you know, half an hour or something. And some of them definitely do, but some of them are way shorter than that to do with heroes. Although in a hard mode, I probably would definitely use a concept. Make your life easier. I don't think there's anything super unique about this dungeon. If you remember, the end boss was that massive worm. It's a different end boss um, now that it's n for this one. It's like an ooze that splits into smaller oozes. This dungeon doesn't really have a, that many uh, unique drops either. There's like, besides obviously the greens that are in every dungeon. Um... You know, that are based on the dungeon boss. But besides that, there's only, like, one staff skin. Which, I mean, is better than some of the other dungeons we've done recently, which have had no unique skins in them. But... But, yeah... Third floor, kind of a reuse of uh, that first floor of Ragars. This is definitely one of the dungeons that doesn't get a lot of, of love. And by that, I mean, like, a lot of its reused assets um, from other dungeons. Or at least that I associate more with other dungeons. Maybe just because I've been in those other dungeons more. Talcora's hair looks weird there. Do you see that? Her hair is, like, glowing. We have chaos gloves. She has chaos hair. <laughs> Where do I get chaos hair? Interestingly, I think this final floor is slightly different than it was the first time we were here. At least I don't remember that starting bit. Maybe I'm crazy, but I don't remember starting in that room the first time we were here. Here are the oozes. The boss for this dungeon is an ooze that splits itself in half. Um... Which means, actually, I'm probably going to summon the Legionnaire. He should be a good uh, a good fit for this dungeon. 
Alright, let's go on down. Uh, where is Black Powder? There he is. Nope. Clean up these elementals here so we just don't have to worry about them. Alright, <clears throat> let's go on down. There's the beacon. Actually, I can grab the bounty. <laughs> I think this one gives something like a thousand delver. Magmus, yeah, there he is. So, same room as the guy was in, but different. He appears to be a fire elemental list. My heroes apparently don't want to res me. <laughs> but. I probably should have checked what skills he uses. But yeah. I would definitely uh, bring something to interrupt that savanna heat. As the player. Maybe like Yimlad or something. Now that they're spreading out a little, oh, they're, they're dying. Why is everybody not resing? Is there a mechanic that's preventing them from resing? No, there isn't. Alright, we had a little bit of an issue, but I think we've sort of res successfully recovered. For now. Just gotta be a little bit worried about the oozes that spawn. Yeah, in a hard mode, I would definitely make sure you have enough interrupts to keep this guy permanently interrupted. Also, I would probably have your heroes hotkey it ready to be flagged away since for some reason they apparently don't seem to be smart enough to get out of this guy's AoE despite generally the hero AI in this game being pretty good so I think he's gonna split now is what I read on the wiki yeah he splits into these magma blisters Now, thankfully, I think these are just warriors or something, so they're significantly less scary than he was with his million uh, fire magic spells that did a ton of damage. There we go. There's the chest. Pretty easy. Not too bad of a dungeon. Let's see what we get. Crude axe. The dead axe. But yep, that's actually all for this dungeon. There's nothing else to it. There's no other quests. Or there's no quests associated with it. Technically, this dungeon quest is the uh, the quest you do to actually unlock the place at the beginning. Um, so once you've done that, then it just unlocks the dungeon. I'm actually not sure if you're able to do the dungeon before that. Because I think you need to have that quest complete for this guy to appear. Sadly, uh, this is one of those guys where I don't think you can... Spam drop. You kind of can, but you can't do it super well. Uh, I know in the past that used to be the way how you beat the dungeons. You spam drop. I've definitely heard old, older players talk about that. Um, but anyway, that's going to be all for today. I want to thank you all for coming out. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.